right. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Monday. I am your host of these Monday Night Talks. My name is Corey Pombo Foster, and I am the owner of iRock Marketable Business Solutions, where we help entrepreneurs just like yourselves solve big sales and marketing problems on a budget. So excited to be here tonight. Look, even though it's recorded, we're still going to have a good time. Um, please remember to put your comments and your questions below. I will come back and respond to every single one. All right. Because we have, like, I have your attention, we have decided to every Monday night go ahead and take care of announcements. I want it to be one place where you can grab all the announcements that you need to know for the week. Also, remember to check your emails if you're on the email list because you also get this information there. So let's get to our announcements for tonight so we can get to our talk. All right, first announcement. Tomorrow, we have our first masterclass of 2023. Our masterclass series is super awesome because it's where we're bringing in experts to come and teach you guys for free. So they're coming, they're bringing their expertise, their knowledge, and they're going to be teaching on their specialty for about 30 to 45 minutes and give you time to ask some questions. So tomorrow we have Tremaine Wills coming. I um, mean, she's presenting the Rich Roadmap. Now, a little bit about Tremaine. She's a financial planner, advisor, and speaker. Um, Tremaine is the owner also of Mind Over Money, a registered investment advisor firm where she focuses on helping ambitious minority entrepreneurs manage their personal and business finances. So she is about the dollar dollar bills, y'all. <laughs> and she'll be with us January 31st at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And there will be a link to register because our masterclass series are through Zoom. So we have a private Zoom for each masterclass. You have to register for it because we want to know who's going to be in attendance. And they will not, I repeat, they will not be broadcast on our social media platform. So if you want to have the knowledge and you want to be in the room where it's happening and be able to ask all the questions, please do register. now. If for some reason you want to attend, but you um, are not available at the time that we're having it, please still register. You will have access to the replays, but again, only if you register. We're doing this for free, so please, you know, at least we ask is that you register for the event if you want to get the information. Now, if you are a paid coaching client, please check your student dashboard because the replays will be there for you guys. Um, so that's a little perk to be in a coaching client is you have the replays available to you from there. All right. So that is tomorrow's masterclass. We also have another one coming up on February 2nd at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that one's going to be um, presented by Jamila Moore. And the topic she'll be presenting on is the seven legal pitfalls to avoid that cost entrepreneurs, again, the money, the dollar dollar bills, y'all. We want to make sure that not only do you make money in 2023, but that you are able to keep the money that you make in 2023. A little bit about Jamila. She's an attorney and the founder of I Am and More, a full service leadership business and legal development firm. I'm so excited that I got to connect with Jamila this year. Um, we had a brief conversation where she gave me the lowdown on all things trademark and copyright. And I felt so empowered after talking to her. I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do this and I need to do that. And I had a really good understanding of what my next steps were. So if you're interested in talking to an attorney, right, a business attorney that can talk to you about how to make sure that you don't end up doing things that are going to be very costly to your business, definitely join us on February 2nd at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, you must register to attend, but it is completely free. If you cannot attend, um, still register. We will give you access to the replay. Fair enough. I think so. All right. Last but not least, I like to quickly get through these announcements. Um, your time is running out. Vision to Victory, the seven day goal setting intensive course was on sale for the month of January. At the end of January, it will go back up to its usual price at $97. So please do grab it now. This is a very deep, a very big deep dive into goal setting in a way that actually helps you. It almost ensures if you follow the program, it will ensure you're going to hit your 2023 goal, right? It's, it's jam-packed with examples. It has a workbook. It has your monthly check-ins and recaps. Um, and it also has a cool vision board activity at the end. Like we, we wanted to make sure you had the fun as well. But it really is thought-provoking. It's going to pose a lot of questions to you to really make you think through the process. That's why we call it the seven-day goal-setting intensive. Now, you can cram it in one day if you like. 
but I like to give my brain a time to kind of reset and get itself together before I move on. There are videos and like I said, there is a workbook. So it really guides you through that goal setting process, just like if you were sitting with me on a one-on-one. -on -one. So if you're interested in grabbing your Vision to Victory seven-day goal setting intensive course, please do so because again, I got to be a woman of my word. At the end of the month, it goes back up to its normal price. Right now it is on sale for $27 right? Can't beat that. $27 for seven days to set up your business for the year. And the great part about the program is that you get it for a year. So if you get it now, you actually can goal set for 2023. And then I always encourage you at the end of the year to goal set for the next year. So in December, you can open it back up. You'll still have access to your student dashboard and you will be able to go through the videos again, which I encourage you to do so. And you will be able to plan for 2024. So you're really getting a steal because you're getting two years for, the, for less than the price of what usually people pay for one year. So if you're interested in that, please do grab that Vision of Victory 7-Day Goal Setting Intensive before time runs out. But I'm trying to help you guys before the time runs out. All right, so it looks like those are our announcements. Now, before we get into the meat of what we're talking about, we're almost there. I always like to give out the winners of our hot seat coaching sessions. So if you're new here, I like to reward people for being engaged and for showing up, right? That's the least I can. <laughs> like, hey, you showed up. So one of the things we do is we give out what's called a hot seat coaching session. And the way to get, get your name in the hat for it is just to show up, whether you're live or hashtag replay, and to leave a comment. Simple enough, you just leave a comment. That's how you get in. You leave a comment because I want to know that you are engaged in the content and you're finding it of value. You can also leave a question. Uh, leave an emoji. I don't care. Leave something so that I know you were here. And like I said, we put your names in a little hat, well, a virtual hat, <laughs> and we um, select winners, uh, at least one. But sometimes, you know, I feel kind of nice and I just give a few out. And what we do is we announce those the following week. So last week we had our Monday night talk and we do have winners for that. So let me pull up our winners. Drum roll. Boom. Our winners are Johnny Mercy, Felicia Minor, and Lakeisha Mills. So if you are Johnny, Felicia, or Lakeisha, Definitely check your DMs. Um, it'll happen later tonight because <laughs> this is pre-recorded. Um, but you are a winner of a hot seat coaching session. And for those of you, again, who don't know what hot seat coaching is, it's where we get on a call for 30 minutes. It's in a private Zoom. It is recorded. But you can ask me any and every question you have about business in that 30 minutes. And I'm going to give you real-time action steps to take to move your business through whatever obstacle or challenge you're currently facing to get to the other side. If you're interested in seeing some past hot seat coaching sessions, just go up to the guide section of the Facebook group if you're in our private community. And there you can see past recordings of me doing just that, those hot seat coaching sessions. And it also kind of gives you a glimpse into what it looks like to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. All right, fair enough. Woo, did we get through everything? <laughs> I think we did. All right, so let's get into, oh, let me hold up. Let me show you the speakers real quick. I did all that and forgot to show you. There is Tremaine. <laughs> we'll look registered today. I had made these and then forgot to show them. There you go. And that's Jamila. All right. You know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a team of one on these Monday nights sometimes, so I can't remember everything. All right. So let's get into the talk that we're having for tonight, because I know what you guys came for. I, I understand. You're like, girl, I didn't come for all those announcements. I came to learn. Got it. So the topic tonight, how to make money while you sleep for coaches and consultants. This is something that I get all the time. People are like, OK, I get the strategies and all that, but I need some passive income. I need something that's just going that's going to keep the coffers filled. <laughs> you know, they're not my big high tickets, but I need something coming in. And so today we're going to kind of talk about that and talk about automation and how automation can help you. And I'm going to give you some actual steps. So this is the time. Grab your pen and paper. Let me take a sip before we get through this. I know this is not my team. This is my husband's team, you know, but I'm married. So we don't support. <laughs> Just throw that out there. But um. We're going to talk about automation and how to put together a specific strategy to bring in some passive income. And I think it'll be a benefit um, to you guys. All right. So let's talk about it. So the first thing, and I'll take this off the screen so you're not staring at it constantly. Leave my little mic here. All right. So we're going to be talking about how, this is the this is the process. Just so you know where we are starting, where we're going. I'm going to talk a little bit about a lead magnet, but it's a very specific one because I'm going to give you a very specific strategy. I don't want you to have guesswork. I want you to do the strategy and get the result. Fair enough. All right. So we're talking about a lead magnet that goes into an offer. 
And from that offer, we're going to also talk about how to utilize the fact that you made that lead magnet to build an email list where you can nurture um, and then, of course, make additional sales if they fall through the cracks, right? Because I'm always about catching everybody so they don't fall through the cracks. So that's where we're going tonight. So lead magnet. We are going to create a webinar lead magnet. Now, if you've heard me talk about lead magnets in the past, it's your choice. Make a checklist, a guide, a white page, or whatever. Um, you know, do whatever you feel. Have an event. All those things are still true. But for this process, we're talking passive income. You don't have to touch it once it's done. We're going to talk, and I should put a caveat, you always want to check on and make adjustments. But for the most part, you can do it and leave it there and it does its thing. We're going to talk about a webinar lead magnet. I find for coaches and consultants, this is one of the best formats for a lead magnet because it shows your personality, it gives really good value, and you can tell people with your voice the call to action. Sometimes when you give somebody a download, they get it and then they disappear, right? They disappear. They're like, Where, where'd the person go? They, they're gone. They got what they want. They're, they're, they're never see them again. You might add them to your email list, but then they might unsubscribe right away. Like, I just wanted that guy. I just wanted that PDF, whatever it is. And so the webinar is a chance for them to actually be with, be with you for a little bit of time, right? About, I'm asking you to do about an hour, by the way, of this lead magnet. Um, but they, like I said, they get to hear your story. They get to see your personality. They get to get the value from you. And they get to hear that call to action. And so I want you guys to start getting your mind around, yeah, you know, I get you may not want to be on video or whatever, but this is going to be a, a very big benefit to your audience. So why the, the, the webinar? I gave you a few things, but let's go through it. Um, they're getting a vibe with you. Brand authority. With a checklist or a quick PDF or something like that, it's cool, but they don't get to see that you are really an expert in your field um, because they don't hear enough about you. They just like, oh, somebody put together a little document. Cool. Um, it's great for list development. Again, it's a lead magnet. So in order for them to get access to the webinar, they're having to give you some personal information. And I always encourage you for them to register for any type of lead to get their name, email address, and phone number. I know you guys don't like calling people, but and <laughs> phone number. Um, it's also um, a great way to find high quality leads. People who are willing to click on something that's of interest to them, one, but then also are willing to stay to hear the information shows that they're very invested in the content that you are putting out. Anybody can just quickly hit a link and get a download, but they're listening through for about an hour means they're very interested in the topic, which makes sure that you're getting a very um, a, a really good qualified lead versus just a random person that's like, ah, I'll check it out. All right. And then, of course, you're able to provide value now. I'm all about that immediate gratification for your audience. So the fact that they can hear you talk right now and get that value and get that little win under their belt means that they're more likely to engage with you on a higher level and, and, and invest with you more. So those are some of the benefits of why I've, I'm telling you, use the webinar Format. Now, if you try to do what you want to do with this, you may have some results doing how the results I'm telling you about um, because the webinar is king right now. Now, for this type of webinar, I want you to keep in mind, I want this to be educational, but I want it to have the idea that you are selling at the end. All right. So I don't want you to just give a bunch of value and disappear on them in this webinar. I want you to give them the value, educate them. Right. It's not a demo. We're not demoing something. We're teaching right? We're being the expert. We're showing up in the, as the expert. And then the goal of it is whatever you're talking about, make sure it's going towards the offer that you're going to make at the end, because that's the whole point of this. All right. So don't do a talk on one thing and give them a product that's all something totally different. They should be aligned so that you're making sure that they're hyped, they're excited, they've gotten a piece of the puzzle done, but you're going to give them the rest of the result in that product. Fair enough. All right. So the first thing you got to do is set up your webinar. <laughs> I'm going to talk to you about this. Now, I do have, um, there is a, in the private Facebook group and in the, if you're a paid client, you should have access to it. I have a two-part like freebie. One is how to create a webinar that converts. And the second one is how to close your consultation call. I definitely go into a little bit more detail than I'll be able to tonight as far as like how to set up the webinar, the different platforms, all the things. Um, and I think I actually did a whole talk about webinars before. So you may want to check those out. But for tonight, we're going we're gonna to skim over a few important pieces that we want to make sure you have. Because if you only listen to this video, I want to make sure that you have the highest level of success here. So setting up your webinar. 
I want you to define your objectives and your target audience before you ever start recording. You need to know what are you trying to do? What's the goal of this, right? Because we said we want to get them into a specific offer. So we need to know the goal. And then we also need to know who is this product at the end for? Because you may have a larger group of individuals that you sell to. Maybe coaches and consultants is me, right? But maybe I this product is for women coaches and consultants. Maybe this is for new coaches and consultants, whatever the case may be. If that is the case, I want to make sure that I'm, I keep them in mind as I make the webinar itself. All right, so next, we want to have a, a, some type of landing page to collect people who want to register for the event. Like I said, we're gathering three pieces of information, their name, their email address, and their phone number. You need a page for that. And we've talked about landing pages before. It will be an opt-in page. So if you're using um, an email platform, like um, Get Response, Convert Kit, Flowdesk, um, Aweber, even Miller Lite, which isn't my favorite, but it does the it does this part. Um, if you're using any of these, you're gonna create a landing page that is an opt-in landing page where people can register. If you're using an all-in-one service like my favorite Kajabi, you can also go into their um, pages and create an opt-in landing page there as well. And the opt-in page is gonna have um, several pieces of information in it. It's going to communicate uh, why the visitors should sign up for your event, your webinar, right? And it needs to be a quick, like, why should they come? It needs to have compelling page title and a description of the problem that your webinar is going to solve. A lot of us make the mistake of putting the topic, right? The topic of the talk, but what really matters is the problem we're going to solve. So instead of, um, like tonight, I could have had the topic for this talk be automation or lead magnet to offer or something like that but instead it was how to make money while you sleep because people want passive income so that's the problem it solves how to make money like hands off while you sleep versus automation because people don't always know what they need um in the form of the topic what they do know is the problem they want solved so that's that's really great all right so what else are we going to talk about um you need a short video. I really encourage this. Now, I shouldn't say you need, but I do encourage you to have a short video to excite prospective people. Again, showing your personality. It doesn't have to be long or anything crazy, but just telling people why they should come to the webinar, what they'll get, you know, a few objectives, and then call it a day. So that is something that you definitely can add. Um, also, keep in mind your copy. It should benefit the focus and the value um, that you're going to be giving. Again, talking back to so the copy is the wording should again talk about what are people going to get out of it? What are not, I'm going to discuss this and this. What are they going to get? What are the results they are going to get? What problems just does it solve? Don't mention the offer at the end. Just let them know that this is what you're going to be kind of going through. And then if you have any social proof, this is a good place to put that as well. Social proof is just like, hey, what I'm talking about is real. It's legit. So testimonials or past results, whether they're with you, or past clients are really great here. Um, saying, you know, I worked with such and such and she did this and she got that result. If you don't have testimonials because you're new, then just say um, results that others maybe have gotten, find some stats, something like that, or use your personal story. That works just fine as well. And you can, that's why I said, you sometimes have to come back and update things because some of you are brand new and it's okay. All right, information about the presenter in the company. Um, a lot of times you're like, how do I create these long landing pages? I don't have enough information. Well, because you put a little extra in there, you're going to give them a little bit of information about you and or your company so that they um, are aware of who they are um, doing things with. You want to also create a sense of urgency or scarcity, um, letting them know that a lot of times, say, for instance, you create a webinar, it depends on where you do it, but you can do one where it looks like it's evergreen, but it'll look like it's only available at specific dates and times. That's a way to create a little bit of urgency or things like that. You can also update it from time to time if you don't have that function, just to say like, this is a special webinar that's only available this time, this period, you know, it's free for now or whatever the case may be, or in this time frame, you're gonna get a bonus offer. Try to find a way to make sure that they understand like, this is time sensitive, you should get it now. We're only doing this for this little bit, for this many people. Um, so that they are more likely to hit it because they don't want to miss out. We're kind of creating a little bit of FOMO, that fear of missing out. Um, in order to get the biggest bang for your buck, make it free. 
make it free and make it on demand. Now, I will say that you most definitely can um, do this live first um, just so that you have the option to do like Q&A and make it really seem like it's really, really real. I like somebody could watch a w real webinar, but just record it and then use the recording. Um, and then you also want to promote your webinar. How do people know how to get, get it if you don't promote it? So, um, and you can do it for a little bit for free. Once you have some money coming in, I do think that this is something worth um, boosting or making it an ad um, just so that more people can see it. And this, and that's what I said. Sometimes you, people are like, I want to do an ad for this product or this product. I think you get a bigger bang for your buck as a small business owner to do your lead magnet as an ad um, because then people are more likely to grab it because they don't have to pay for whatever it is you're selling. But either way, whether you're paying or if it's free, make sure you promote it on all your social media platforms to your current email list. Um, tell other friends, family, colleagues, whomever to share it, uh, put it in your groups. Like you guys who are in my private Facebook community, you see it as well. Um, and this will ensure that it gets around so that people will start to go to it. All right. Fair enough. I think, I think so. I think so. All right. So let's talk about actually what this webinar is going to look like, because now that you got it, like hopefully from that part, you got it set up because that's what we want to do. Now we have to talk about what it's going to look like, the actual setup. So. The system I like to use is the 60 minute webinar structure and it breaks it down into time. So this is going to tell you exactly the structure again. That's what I said. Have your pen and paper ready. All right. The first part is the intro. Five minutes or less. Some of you, <laughs> I've seen some lead magnets. Y'all spend way too much time in the intro. I'm like, can we get to it? Can, can we move on? Um, there's only so much I need to know about you before I get bored. Um, and this is important, this structure, because you want people to get through the whole thing. They don't know what you're selling until you get to the end. So please, please keep keep these times in mind. All right. So intro and framing. This is where you're going to grab your audience's attention. If you've ever done any kind of essay writing or speech writing, you understand, grab the audience's attention, give them that hook. Um, you're going to set expectations. This is what we are going to be doing. And you want to make a big promise. Now, I'm not saying like lie or nothing. Make a promise. So, hey, by the end of this session, you will be able to do this. You will be able to solve this. You will have five key this. So just make sure, again, you're setting expectations, telling them the objectives. This is what we're going to cover. But by the end, this is the problem we're going to solve. And this should be the same solve you had on that landing page. You're not thinking of new stuff. You're just saying, hey, this is what we're going to solve. That's it for the intro. That's why it's only five minutes. Stop making long, drawn out. I'm going to tell you this, this, and this, and this. Like, get to tell it. Just get to tell it. <laughs> okay? The next thing I want you to do is spend about 10 minutes with your story. Again, we're trying to build rapport. We're trying to make connection, especially because it's probably not going to be live for most of the people that engage with your webinar. You want to ensure that they know who you are and what you're about. So spend about 10, you know, good minutes on your story. Share your story. Help build rapport and credibility. Make sure it is relatable to you, them, and the presentation you're about to do. So don't give them a whole resume of your past experience that have nothing to do with your business. Only give them the parts that are pertinent. Um, for me, my personal story always talks about how I got into business because of the fact that the way I got into business made me set up my business in the way it is about the, the affordability, the organic marketing strategies, because I could have easily been a marketer that did ads only. But I chose to you know, help the little guys, right? The people that came into business non-traditionally, because my story is, is that I came into business non-traditionally. And so I usually tell my, my personal story, how I got into business, the, the point of the business, and then who do we serve and how do we do it? Um, and that is what we do. And sometimes we'll throw a few testimonials in there people we work with. Because again, we're building credibility the whole way through. So no more than 10 minutes. Tell your story. Get in and get out. <laughs> All right. So now you've done 15 minutes of a webinar already. Telling your story and doing your intro when you set up the um, expectations. Um, gave the promise and um, did your objectives and grabbed their attention. You're 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 already 15 minutes in. Yay, you! You thought this was gonna be hard. All right, so now we get to the meat of the presentation. See, we already here. The meat of the presentation. And I should have backed up one second. Actually, I'll talk about that at the end. We'll we'll go all the way to the end. I'll tell you one thing to keep in mind before you get to all of this. But the meat of the presentation is the value, the content. The solving of the problem. You're going to teach them something. You're not going to sell them something. You're going to teach them something. You're not going to skate around it. You're going to teach them something. They need to 
in 30 minutes have a win. So don't pick a huge problem that you can't solve in 30 minutes. Solve it. So maybe my solve is um, how to, I don't know, how to show up consistently on social media. And I'm going to give them like three strategies or one strategy in 30 minutes from top to, to the to from the top to the end of it. Um, now there's more, <laughs> there's more nuances, but I want them to be able to show up consistently in at least one way. And it could just be like social media posts or it could just be videos. Um, but I want them to be able to get it and understand it in 30 minutes. So you need to find a topic that works for you and your business and what you do and how you solve problems um, and what problems you actually solve and take one small topic and break it down and do it in 30 minutes. If they don't get a win here, you've lost. If they don't understand here, you've lost. So please, please, please keep that in mind. Some of you are trying to think of really big topics because you're like, oh, they need to know this. But if you cannot solve it in 30 minutes, then this is not the appropriate venue for you to try and put it in. Find something small, break it down to a bite-sized piece that they can do right now. All right, and this should be an actionable thing. All right, so that's the main stuff. So again, actionable, I'm gonna make sure I look at my notes real quick. And they should also feel empowered by this, the strategies and tips that you're giving to take action. They should leave. If you've ever been to a conference and you hear a speaker and you leave like, oh, yeah, like I'm pumped up. I'm ready to go. That's how they should feel when they are done with your webinar, because this is the main part. Like I said, you win or lose them here. And then you're going to go into your CTA, your offer, your call to action. Pick one thing. I'm going to just pause right here. I'm going to look at you. One thing, just one. Um, one action that you want them to take. Is your action, book a call with me now. I'm going to tell you that's not for this one. Because, <laughs> again, we're doing passive income. But if in the future, if you do another one, um, book a call now, download this, whatever the case may be for you guys. As part of our plan, you are going to be selling a course. A course. I don't care if it's a mini course, a regular course, a big course. It's going to be a course. Because I want you to be hands-off. So they'll be able to go right into that product. You'll be able to have that money go ching into your bank account. And everybody is happy. So that, that's going to be our call to action is this was only a piece of the puzzle. It's still a win, right? They better have, be able to check it off. It's a win. But this is just a piece to the bigger problem that we're trying to solve for you, right? So if I solve the problem of showing up consistently on social media, great. But now you need a whole marketing strategy, right? That's just one piece. Okay, social media. But where are the rest of the pieces? Where's your email list? Where is your other things, understanding your client avatar, all the all the marketing strategies, your your funnels, all of that. If you want to know how to do that, right, in 90 days or less, sign up for this course. And you're going to give it to them, again, creating a sense of urgency, telling them they need to do it in an amount of time to get it at the price it is. So we're going to give them that call to action. We're going to create that sense of urgency. And they're going to have the link or button. I suggest you put the button <laughs> in there so they can just hit it and go right into it and be able to go to that product landing page where they can purchase it and have a great day. Because this is, again, hands off. This is happening while you're sleeping, while you're at the store, while you're at the spa, while you're on vacation. They are getting all this great value from you and they're moving on into a product. Simple enough. So that's what that's going to be. And then if it is live, I want you to do one more step and offer Q&A. That can be 10 to 15 minutes. If this, if it is not live, that's why I say do it live once because then the Q&A will be there for them to listen to because uh, usually people ask the same questions. But if it's not live um, or if you don't have it pre-recorded with the Q&A, then just omit this section and I will gift you, I will gift you this time to put into the value section, not the beginning, <laughs> not the intro or, or um, the story, but I'll allow you to put, to take this time and put it into your value section, or you can just have a 45 minute um, talk, which is fine. But I like a Q&A and it's, it's nice. So that is your one hour webinar. Now the bonus I promised you was something great to do and say at the beginning of the webinar is offer a free gift. Say, hey, if you stay through the entire webinar at the end, I'm going to give you a free gift. That free gift could be that guide, <laughs> that white page, that, whatever that download was, they can have that for listening to the whole thing. They don't get that unless they listen to the whole thing. 
And so literally you can put like a QR code on the screen or whatever that only plays at the end. Um, you can also have links, whatever, if you, you know, do it however fancy you want to do it. But give it to them if they get to the end and say, hey, this is how you get this freebie. Thank you for staying to the end. Um, this will help increase the rate of people staying to the end. So if you're not that great <laughs> at your intro and people are falling off there, if you at least said that in the beginning, they might give you grace and stay so they hear your, your call to action. So that's nice. You can even give them like a mini course, a template, something like that. Um, that's great. So again, we did all that. We created the webinar and we are moving them into that course because that was the CTA, the course. Now, I think, for, and I'll just give you my opinion. Do what you want. It's just a little me telling you, you know, a thing or two. Um, but for the course and for this type of lead magnet, I encourage you to price your course at 97 to 597. I don't know what your courses are priced at right now. I don't, you may have prices at various price points. I, I do. Uh, but this course should probably be between $97 and $597. Only because, again, while this isn't an impulse buy, we don't want it to be too high to the point where people feel like they need to talk to you to get more information. People are like, okay, I like this. I got value from it. And so I feel comfortable enough to move forward and just buy the course. Excuse me, it is dry over here. All right. So that's the pricing I'm suggesting. I'm also suggesting, because again, I have to say this because I see the craziest stuff <laughs> on this side of the chair. People will try to sell me a course of one video for like $500. You're crazy. Um, this is the quickest way for somebody to ask for a refund. So I want the course to be three to six modules. Three three modules is is is, is a mini course typically, um, and the modules are just how they break up. If you want to call it a lesson, a module, whatever, but three to six, and I mean um, three to six videos with content. So you're putting a video for every lesson. You're putting some copy, some wording. Copy is wording. Um, you can also have other things like quizzes if you wanted to. You get fancy and have additional download resources if you like, but three to six modules at a price point of ninety-seven to five hundred and ninety-seven dollars is great. This is not your high ticket. This is like your low to mid tier um, type of purchase. Because again, we're just trying to get some money coming in. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. All right. So you have that, and I talked to you about the fact that you need once that you give that CTA, they need to hit the button and go to the landing page. Let's talk about that course landing page. I'm not going to leave y'all hanging. We're going to get all the pieces here before we hop off tonight. All right. So you need a main headline and supporting headline. So again, what problem are we solving? Um, so the main problem we're solving, the sub, sub thing we're solving, or you could even call out who the audience is. Like, are you a coaching consultant? Solve this. You know, we do that. Um, a clear and unique selling proposition. The benefits of why they should take the offer. You want an image and or a video telling them what they're going to get in the course. They need to know. <laughs> they need to know. Because, again, we don't want them to have to second guess, should I get this? Is it going to be worth my money? Like, tell them. You're going to get six interactive, amazing um, lessons with, you know, templates, guides, whatever. You're going to get, you know, over this amount of hours of content, whatever. Like, make it sound good. Social proof, again, I don't care if it's the same that you used earlier. But you want to show people that you can get them the results you say you can get them. Um, I like to throw a guarantee. And this is also something you do if you don't have a lot of social proof, like testimonials or past results. Give them a guarantee saying um, simply as, hey, if you don't get this result, I'll give you your money back. Um, or you can say, which I like better, is, hey, if you don't get this result in this amount of time, we will extend you and we will work with you until you get, you know, blank result. That one's a lot better because you're not losing money, but also make sure that you can give them the results. Sorry. Let them run down. I think somebody's at the door. <laughs> I have dogs here, so it's like, ruff, ruff, ruff. sorry if you can hear all that. Um, but yeah, money back or we'll work with you until um, you achieve whatever goal and just put a time frame around it. So something else is... Um, you just want to reinforce what you already said into them. Again, we're making a whole landing page and then a closing argument again on why they should get it. And then the call to action button should be there just saying like, by now, I'm all in, sign me up, those types of things. And I usually put those after every section to make sure that um, they know that they can sign up. They don't have to go through the whole, they don't have to go through the whole landing page in order to, to get that. So that is something I'll do. 
dogs are going, the dogs are going crazy. It'll be all right. Um, all right, this is pre-recorded anyway, but is it an emergency? Who's at the door? Did you ask? Okay. Answer the door safely and ask them what they want, what they need. Sorry, guys. <laughs> That's what I give her recording. This is why I do this recording earlier in the day. Oh, and she got back in her car. I can see the lady. All right. Well, we'll move on. <laughs> we'll move on. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's okay. All right. So let's move on. So that is what's going to be on your course landing page. Sorry for all the distractions. Hopefully you guys got that. All right. So something that we want to do to make sure that you're not losing, you're not losing these leads is whoever registers for your webinar, right? They see it, they register whether they attend or they don't. Because you're going to have some people who register and just don't, don't go on to look at it or they don't listen to the whole thing. We've gotten their name, their email address, and their phone number. We're going to add them to our email list. Um, and you want to follow up with them. This is one email that's going to follow up with them um, about what you said in the webinar. So whatever the call to action was, um, you want to say, hey, did you grab this? Don't miss out on this amazing opportunity um, to get whatever the, the thing was. This is time sensitive, so make sure it goes out automatically after they would have seen the webinar. Another thing you want, and this is a separate email, is something that's connected to your course. So when they purchase the course, they get an email thanking them, welcoming them, giving them next steps. Um, that's something else that you want to have attached. And again, you I can't tell you because everybody has different systems what buttons to push for that. But usually for most of these platforms, if you YouTube it, <laughs> it'll pop up. All right. And also my marketing side of my company can do this for you. Um, next, you want to email sequence. So those are just one and done emails I just told you. But you need a sequence to nurture the leads. And I, I really recommend five to 10 emails over 30 to 45 days. Um, this is to nurture these people's leads because even if they purchased or they didn't, you're eventually going to want to sell them high ticket. Um, so it's good to continue the connection, continue showing up as the expert, providing them value and things of that nature. So. You can put information in this email sequence about the same or different um, offers that you may have. Um, you will have a chance to give them future offers as well. You also want to give them additional value, maybe invite them to your private community, um, things of nature, invite them to book a call for whatever reason, show them you, maybe you've done other presentations, um, maybe you've done articles, maybe you've published a book, whatever the case may be. But you want to just nurture them, giving them value, but also um, just showing up for them as the expert you are. And like I said, for each email, you want a specific one call to action, whether it's a book a call, join the group, um, send a reply email if you have a question, whatever the case may be, because we want to build up your email list. Because it's a lot easier to um, sell to a warm lead than it is a cold lead. And so I want you to never just let them go and disappear and you're not keeping in contact with them. So this kind of keeps you on the offense, of being able to always reach out when you're ready, but you've got to keep reaching out because think about this, and this is what happens. People will make email lists and never email the people, and then they'll have an event and want to email them, but they don't know who you are. <laughs> They're like, oh, I don't know who this person is. How'd you give me email? And, and, and you really don't have a warm lead anymore, but if you stay connected to them, right? And that's why I usually suggest for my clients sending out an email at least once a month. Uh, stay connected. That's just 12 emails a year plus your email sequence that they get initially. So during that first 30, 45 days, you know, they're getting a couple additional emails, but they're definitely going to get that at least one a month so that they're not like, who is this in my email? This must be spam um, because then they're more likely to open it and engage with you and hopefully be your call to actions. All right. So that, that was it for tonight. Sorry for the little hiccup in the middle, <laughs> random people coming to my house during the day, but Hopefully you got some information that'll help you um, along your journey here. So let me not forget one more thing. So if you found this of value, look, we're going to do it. <laughs> we're going to do it. So if you found this value, right, and maybe you've been watching for a while. I see who watches these videos and who doesn't. Um, some of you have been super engaged. Some of you have even done hot seat coaching sessions. And I see you asking questions. And sometimes you'll DM me. You respond to emails, all the things. And you're like, you know, you need a coach, you know, you need a coach, but maybe you're like, I don't know if I can do one on one because I do offer one on one coaching. Definitely. If you have never gone to the IROC Marketable Business Solutions website, do that. 
Uh, Cause there it shows you our suite of services. But right now in 2023, we have really understood the idea. Every year we try to be bigger and better. And last year we did a lot of one-on-one -on -one clients, which was amazing. But I realized one, not everybody can afford one-on-one -on -one, and that is no shade, no tea. I, when I started my business, could not have <laughs> comfortably afforded one-on-one. -on -one. So that was one thing we noticed. But two, we noticed that people really lack community a lot of times. And I would talk to my, my clients about, oh, yeah, my accountability group. And this is the program I'm in. And they were like, dang, that sounds awesome. And we didn't have that. We didn't really have that service for you guys. And so we created the ABCs of Unlocking Your Six Figure Business Academy for you all this year. Um, and what does it have in it? Because that's what you want to know. Well, first of all, you get a toolkit. You get a toolkit. And in that toolkit, we have three, really three different courses in one. We have our business accelerator, our business boot camp, and our business champion. Our business accelerator are for you newbies, people who are really lacking the foundational pieces, or maybe you've been in business for a while, but you never went back and took care of the foundation pieces. You have um, lessons there to help you make sure that everything you need to get started and situated in your foundation to be solid. We don't want you building on straw houses. Like everything is going to be concrete there. That's where you'll, that's the, the topics I would suggest you go into. Because it's not like a regular course where you go start to finish, get what you need and go. All right. Next, the business boot camp is for people who've been in business for a little bit. Maybe you're starting to get a couple clients here and there, but you're not getting clients consistently. You're going to be in the boot camp because we want you to start <laughs> getting them clients. Ka ching, ka ching. I want you to see that going into your, your, um, look, your coffers. That's my word of the day. Um, and then last but not least, we have business champions. For those of you who are doing business, maybe doing doing business for a while, you're doing pretty decent, but you're ready to scale. You're ready to get to that next level. You're ready to really focus on high ticket. That is going to be there for you. And the cool part is, and this is why we did it this way, some of you are going to move faster and some of you are going to move slower. So instead of saying, oh, you only buy the accelerator and get access to the accelerator, you buy the one toolkit, you get access to the whole thing. You can go as fast or slow as you want. You can grab whatever pieces you want. Um, which is really great. Now, I'll be honest, the toolkit is available by itself. It's $597. There ain't no shame in my game. That's that's how much that toolkit is. You can grab it, but it doesn't include me. If you join the Academy, it includes me and my team. So these are the bonuses you get with the Academy on top of that self-paced toolkit for a year. You So that, that's for a year. But for the Academy, you get six months access to our private Facebook community with just us, my people who are, and it's different from this community because these are people who've invested um, and so they were really doing business. Um, you get weekly coaching sessions. So I'm coming up there. I'm training you guys weekly just like this. You also get weekly Q&A. So a small group where you can come on. It'll be on Zoom and you can actually share your screen, ask me questions, get feedback from me, from my team in those weekly Q&As. Um, you also get networking opportunities, again, to network with people who are really out here doing the things because one of the C's for the year is collaboration. You also get access to bonus resources like scripts, templates, guides, and checklists. If you've ever worked with me one-on-one, -on -one, you know, I'm like, okay, no, type this in. <laughs> this is the wording. Fix this, edit this. This is what you need. Um, we're not just going to tell you things in theory. We're going to give you, like I call it the white glove service. We're going to hold your hand and get you through the process. You're going to also have access to the IROC collaborators and events, all virtual and free to you VIP status. So our monthly master classes, you get access to, again, get the replays in your student dashboard. You get a free ticket to the IROC Entrepreneur Summit. Um, some of you were the, some of you were with us back when we did one last year. You get a VIP ticket to the IRAC Organic Marketing Challenge and the IRAC Sales Challenge, and we have a sales challenge coming up. You also get ten percent off of all IRAC marketing products. So if you notice that I talked about, oh, we can do this for you. We can set up your email sequences. We can set up your funnels. We can set up your website. You can get all of that, and we already really afford make them affordable. But you get that as a discount for ten percent off as well. So lots and lots of stuff. I do encourage you now, the Academy is not for everyone. And I encourage you to do this too when you have high ticket things. Um, have people book a call. You don't want people to do this passively because you don't want to be having the wrong people in the group. One, they're not going to get the result they want, but also you're not going to enjoy working with them. So yes, I do require a call with me and my staff um, to see if this is a good fit for you before you invest in it. We talk about it in detail. We talk about what you're trying to do to make sure it's a good fit for you we may have a different product or service that makes sense. You may need one-on-one. -on -one. Who knows? But um, we do talk to you about that. So please book a call with us to learn more if you're interested in that program. Um, I do encourage you to jump in. Also, if you're watching this for February, we are we have to limit. <laughs> As I'm busy, we got to limit how many one-on-one -on -one clients we have. So just this is the first time I'm even saying it. 
But for the month of February, we're only taking four one-on-one -on -one clients. You get four one-on-ones, and then if you are a good fit, you can also do the academy. And one-on-ones now include the academy as well. So you still get the toolkit and all the freebies. So uh -huh, uh -huh. yay for you. All right. So before we hop off, one last little thing. I just want to go over what's coming up next week. Oh, look, I made one of these. Look at me. Book your call for that academy. All right. But anyway, <laughs> next session, avoid spamming and warm leads with value. We're going to be talking about that because I think some of you um, are thinking you got to be like a used car salesman in order to uh, make sales. You don't. So we're going to talk about avoiding spamming and warm leads with value. So I, I always call it ethical marketing. Um, I try not to do things to people that I wouldn't want done to me. But we're going to talk a little bit about that next week, Monday, live. <laughs> so I promise I will be live next week. But like, I can't promise I'll be alive. But if I'm alive, we'll be live next week. And again, hopefully the dogs were not too distracting. Like I said, at 6 p.m., they're calm. They've eaten. They're outside. My, my family's gone. This is why. You know, but we do what we have to do. All right. But with that being said today, guys, um, sorry, I couldn't be with you live, but hopefully you got massive value again. Please comment, put your questions. I will come back tonight and answer them. Um, if my assistant didn't throw the links in as I was talking, I will be putting the links in again tonight. And winners, check your DMs before midnight. And I promise I will I will DM you with how to get your hot seat coaching sessions. But guys, remember, I rock, you rock, we all rock. And I will talk to you next time. <laughs>